Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can animate these UI elements. So in today's video, I'm going to go through this top bar here, this day, week, month, year uh, part, this kind of volume thing and these little buttons here. The rest of this will be animated as well, but you can only see that on the extended video, which will be out on my Patreon page. So go support me there if you want to see the whole video with all these extra animation techniques and stuff. You can also find some exclusive videos there and download all the project files for every tutorial I upload. So let's get right into it because it's kind of a lot to do here. Um, so I'm going to go through it quickly. Uh, let's start with this one. I have everything in here, like a lot of layers, but I've color coded them. So I have these three layers here. So I'm going to kind of um, and actually isolate them, only these ones and these ones here. So I can only see um, part of it. So that's nice. I have these three shapes, this line, this other line and this circle. So this other line here, I'm going to actually copy the color here, copy it. If you hear something, my dog is drinking in the background. So ignore that, please. Um, duplicate this line, press Command D, and give this the whole color, purple. Yeah, so now it's uh, the whole thing. And this uh, shape, I'm going to go to P for position, and kind of move that. Um, no, first I'm going to give this uh, purple line here. Um, uh, a matte layer, a track matte. So I'm going to select my uh, rectangle tool and drag around this whole thing here. Let's get the stroke down and let's fill it up with something like this. Yep. And I'm going to place that above my layer here, above that uh, purple line. Where is it? This is the purple line and then this is the other uh, shape. Let's call this matte. And then I'm going to um, select this purple line here and go to none and alpha matte matte. So it's only visible within this shape. So if I move this shape, you can only see it over there. So this I'm going to drag over here like that. I'm going to parent this sh shape here to my uh, top layer, which is the circle here. So if I now move this thing, the uh, matte moves along with it and then we can animate this bar. So uh, position P, and then over there, boom, and then copy this, and then over there, let's go get it back. So now it animates roof, roof, really ugly. So give this some easing here. Nice, nice. Boom, that's it for that one. So I'm going to um, press Command Shift C and call this uh, Volume Control. All right, so now it's in there. So unisolated, so now I can see everything again, boom. There you go. So I'm going to uh, drag this to the bottom here and then lock it just to have a good bit more of an overview of everything. So let's do these little buttons here. We have three of them. And uh, where are they? There are these see from these colors here, these purple ones. So I'm going to zoom in. And what I want to do is if, if this one moves to the left with position, then this needs to change color and also add a little bit of a... Um, uh, drop shadow behind this one. So first let's do that. So let's go to right click, layer styles, drop shadow. And let's open that up and increase the size a little bit like that. Maybe the opacity a little bit down. And that's that's already it. That's great. P for position, click on the stopwatch and then make it go to the left here. Uh, like that kind of, I think. Now it can be a little bit further. Yeah, like that. Uh, so now I'll give you some easing. I'm using Flow, the plugin here, to create quick eases. Highly recommended. So yeah, that's it. Can be a little bit faster though. Boom. And then go to this shape here. And I'm going to open this up. Go to Contents, Group 1, Fill 1. And then we have the color here, Keyframe, that one. Click and then go to um, the Fill here and make this gray. So now it changes color. So it gives us the same easing. It changes color as it turns off nice and then over here I can kind of copy this one and this one as well and then copy the first one and now it's reversed Bloop. really easy nice so I'm going to close that up and I'm actually going to maybe kind of oh oops copy these keyframes a little bit here so I can have a little bit more animation Yep, like that. 
and then I'm gonna um, duplicate these two, uh, select these two, sorry, and I'm going to actually parent the, the circle to the bottom shape here, so parent, nice, and if I select both of them, just make it a, a different color for now, duplicate both of them, pressing Command D, and then drag them up here, and then I'm going to drag the bottom one, so the bottom shape of those two, to this spot here, I'm going to do the same thing again here, press Command D, and then place them up here, and the bottom one here I'm going to drag down, and then I can delete all these other layers here, because I've already have this thing animated. Now everything is going all at once. So if I open this up by pressing U, I can see all of these keyframes and I kind of, I can just um, move this around a little bit, make it go a bit faster or something here, or like that. Okay, and then these, maybe delete these and only have these animate twice. Whoa, select them all. Like that, so yeah, so now they are kind of animating independently from each other. Yeah, so maybe a bit crazy right now, but all right, it's uh, fine. You get what I, uh, you get the the idea here. So let's call this uh, make this a pre-composition as well. Oh, don't need these two. Uh, these are also green. These ones, yeah. Press Command Shift C and call these um, yeah just buttons. It's fine. Okay, drag them down. And I'm doing this really quickly now, but um, you can download the whole project file, as I said, on Patreon, and then you can see this other comp, which I've animated earlier. It's a bit more cleaned up and a bit, you know, not as fast as right now, but this, but this works great as well. So that's uh, done with that. So the last one for this video, and as I said, the rest you can find on Patreon. Uh, let's go to these ones, the purple ones. Let's isolate those and these two background shapes. And what, it, what you can see here while it's animating is that this line is kind of going from left to right. And then everything that's in this purple shape is a lighter color, it's white. And it also kind of stretches out when it moves a little bit. So um, it's really important how you build this stuff because this shape here is actually a, where is it? Oh, it's a purple one. Uh, here, it is a stroke. So you can click on your um, pen tool and you can see that we have this stroke effect here. So what I'm going to do is um, actually make this stroke really large like this, this one as well. So yeah, I have the whole thing. And then I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna go to add trim paths. So if I trim paths this, then we have this whole shape. And if I uh, drag out the start, you can see that the start point, the beginning here, is dragging into here. So if I let it go here, this is now the start point, so it's 55%, and this one put it here at, let's say, uh, 71. Nice, so create two keyframes for those, drag them to the beginning here, and then at the end, or at somewhere in time, I'm going to drag this one back to zero and this one to, let's say, uh, 19, 18, like that. And I select these and then hit apply on my flow plugin. Or you can just add a uh, easing manually, of course. And now it goes to that side. But as you can see in this uh, example, it's kind of stretching out a little bit because it's get longer as it goes here. And you can do that by um, just extending the uh, start. Let's just put them a little bit later. And then we have this, uh, sorry, <laughs> the end, of course, a little bit later like that. So now the back half is moving a little bit slower than the uh, first, uh, the first part, the front part. So maybe make it a little bit quicker. Yeah, and maybe that's a little bit too much. So just a little bit of fine tuning here to create a nice little animation. Nice, yeah, maybe a bit too fast. Okay, this is good for now. Um, so you can see here that the month here is um, white and uh, that that's okay when it's um, below of or, or on top of the purple shape. But if, if it's not, it needs to be black and now it's white still. So I'm going to get this color, uh, copy that, paste it on this one here. Oh, yeah, this one, nice. And um, I'm going to actually select the day and these little stripes here in between and the week. All of these shapes, select all of them. I'm going to pre-compose those, so Command Shift C or right click and go to pre-compose and call this um, dates, just easy. 
and let's call this let's actually call this dates um, dark and then click on this one so now um, we have this um, shape we have this comp and this uh, this is let's call this the purple line so now I want this these dates dark to also they need to be uh, below the purple line here because they won't be visible when the purple line is there uh, so I'm going to duplicate this dates dark press command D place, place it above the purple line and uh, go to right click layer style and color overlay I'm going to overlay just a white color so now we have the white back here but I only want I only want this thing to be visible when the purple line is behind it so I'm going to duplicate the purple line here press command D and place that above my dates let's call this dates light light and let's call this uh, matte so dates light select that and then the matte is on top of it so go to your track matte here non alpha matte matte layer so it's only visible within that shape so great now we have this animation where is it yeah you can see that it's here it is black and here it is white nice cool so I'm going to select all of these ones as well and um, pressing command shift C and then so let's call this uh, dates and isolate everything nice so now we have those animations finished so I'm going to leave it at that for this YouTube video here um, if you want to see as I said earlier see the rest uh, follow me on patreon and you can see the whole animation there uh, thank you guys for watching so much I appreciate it really if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next tutorial thank you bye bye